obviously it's covering covering in a hijab um a khimar and a niqab um an abaya a jilbab is better than not doing it at all but you know we have to know like the criteria we have to know what the goal is oh back to the conditions like yeah it shouldn't be tight and all of that like it should not it's to cover the body and and conceal the shape not accentuate the shape like what is the point of a long sleeve body con dress that shows your whole shape what was the reason it's no reason to wear that it it's it, it defeats the purpose of the hijab if that's what you're trying to do like if you're trying to wear the hijab and you want to wear a proper hijab that it's not the way to go yeah it's cute we're not supposed to be that cute okay you're supposed to be that cute in the house or under your clothes you're know saying like it doesn't mean like you have to be ugly and not know any cute clothes or own any cute things it's just a time and a place to wear things like everything is a time and a place like and these certain these certain types of clothing have their proper place which is in the home or under your clothes where no one can see them um and it's also you should not your garment your you should not be fragranced like when i walk outside no one should be able to smell you know the baccarat and the whatever the what are, what are those things gucci shouldn't smell your gucci your dior your chanel whatever whatever fragrance you like no one should smell that it should not be sprayed on your clothes like physically it's different okay you you shower you put your clothes on no you shower you you know you spray something and then you wait a while and then put your actual clothes on that's different because you may not be able to smell that when you walk past because it's like it sets in your skin and you wait it a few hours or some and then you put your clothes your regular you know your outer clothes on your proper hijab on and then you went outside that's different and that may be okay because you may not smell it you should know or like your husband or you know your family member would be able to tell you if they can smell that but um or just better to wear perfume only at night so once you go to sleep you slept for like seven eight hours rolled over your bed and you won't be able to really smell it in the morning but you should not be before you go outside like especially on your clothing like that is that is a form of xena like you you know it's that's that's for the men not for the women and alhamdulillah like i don't i don't want no men outside lusting over me and how i smell so good and he could just imagine you know that leads their mind like oh she smells so good now they want to know what you look like under your clothes and now they want to men are crazy but we don't do it for men they do it because Allah said it and their wisdoms behind things like yeah i don't i i don't want no man smelling me like that even if you can smell them like oh dang he smells really nice but that it, we, it'll go blow right past us men they're crazy but you know there's a lot that we, we should not smell fragrance when we go outside yes and also our clothing should not resemble men and men clothes should not resemble women clothes the thobe is not like the abaya or overgarment and even men they have their own cloaks and abayas they put on that's masculine they just look like men clothes and we have our stuff that look like women's stuff so we shouldn't mix and mingle stuff you know or things are specifically for men and i don't think pants are specifically just men there's obviously women's styles of pants and there are men's styles of pants so you just stick with you you know was for women and also if you wear pants for them under your head, under your abaya your garment your dress your very loose dress and fairly we call them we call them overgarments um yeah so we could call a clothes abaya and yeah it shouldn't resemble men and it should not resemble the clothing of disbelieving women our clothes should not look like wearing a fashion over ad with a scarf on the head that's it we shouldn't look like that even though it looks like, like you can see some sister like oh she look she look cute but you like that's not proper hijab and it shouldn't be on a public platform like you wearing it and then you post it on a public platform to get likes and views from people because if you did it for you know what I'm saying like if you did it for yourself and you don't want attention why would you post it on a public platform because you know you you know people are going to come for you especially if you and you visibly look muslim and you, you wear the hijab like a hijab and we just know you're muslim people are gonna come for you and it's like you know they should be kind they shouldn't be like harsh and like beating you up about it and you know at some point you should i think you should stop reminding someone especially if you know this person constantly like they're not changing they show no 
sense of they want to change and they want to do better i think people should literally stop harassing people because it's just like it's just like you know at what is it at some at some point you have to stop advising somebody especially strangers on the internet you know what i'm saying i, I, I know that can be pretty annoying for some like you know people who are on the chopping block of not like wearing proper clothing but again we shouldn't resemble disbelieving women so some things you obviously which which goes back to the, we shouldn't look like like muslim women only like we shouldn't look like muslim women only based on the scarf like oh you can tell she muslim because of the scarf but if he looked at you from the head up would, would someone know that you from the, the neck down would they know that you're muslim no because you got regular clothes or you have jeans skinny jeans you can see your whole you can see your thigh you can probably see like you know like someone could see your vagina like not physically obviously but like you know it's like a, what is this i don't know if that's called the groin area you could see that on women now muslims muslims like i don't know it frustrates me <laughs> like and i'm not perfect and i don't always read niqab and i don't always wear your bab and stuff but i, I recently got I recently got into it within the last year i wanted to cover better like i feel like i always covered good but like i wear the scars more and not like the khimar which it doesn't show the shape of your what is this your shoulder and stuff and that also goes with like concealing the shape of your body like it shouldn't show the shape of your neck and your shoulder um but yeah and like we're all like i think a lot and a lot of women their whole excuse is Oh, men, when men comment, oh, lower your gaze. Oh, men shouldn't say anything about, about women's hijab. Why not? The Prophet is a man. He spreaded the doubt. Like, he gave that He gave us the revelation of all this stuff. Like, Asr was a Zab, Surah 59. Like, he told us about this from Allah, but like, the Prophet is a man. The companions are men. They spreaded the doubt. Like, they spreaded the religion. So, don't, I don't like all that whole new feminist movement stuff and like men can't tell you nothing yeah if, if a man tell you if you're not gonna listen to your father because he a man it gotta come from your mom doesn't make sense like a brother should be able to correct sisters and it's, it shouldn't be that, oh well why are you on her post so you're on a public platform men especially like stuff like you go instagram tiktok you scroll and then it's the next video of a woman and if you see obviously and obviously they be like lower your gaze the first look is halal for men and women women shouldn't be under men's you watch a whole lecture about musty mink or whoever else is on the internet you somebody you comment you want somebody to say oh lower your gaze obviously you looked at them the whole time or you looked at them like you're watching you, you're watching a lecture you it's different like so if a sister's post something maybe she doesn't cover properly and the brother saw her and he obviously seemed like oh he watched to the end who knows <laughs> like whatever it's still the point of like you know the c criticism or the advice still stands whether you know is a man or a woman and women a sister should stop all that oh men don't touch don't talk about hijab i'm a woman and that's why i'm here to so you so what you're gonna say to me oh well sister you're like i'm a, I'm a woman i i know women's struggles i don't know all of them and i don't haven't experienced them all but obviously i think it would be better coming from a woman since this seems to be like sisters mean like a lot of sisters problem about it being like a, a man telling them stuff but that's just an insecurity or just like a problem within you as a woman not wanting to take any criticism advice admonishment or you know constructive criticism from men i mean like we just gotta work on it we all have our struggles with the men so we just gotta work on things that's it um, also the joe bab should not be worn for fame or to show off um yeah that's what it says i'm gonna insert a picture of it while i'm talking and also like you know that i wanted to mention like the joe bab and your outer garment over garment but like you don't have to wear all black it doesn't have to be boring you don't have to wear all black you wear nice colors i think you should stay away from like obviously like bright colors like pinks and like hot pink like i wouldn't wear hot pink outside i would wear a different color pink like a muted pink a mauve pink i have a mauve pink i feel like maybe maybe even like a sky like a soft pink it's just like light and calm like you're gonna get stares regardless someone's gonna look at you you're gonna like whether i had all black someone will stare someone will still look like oh look at that girl she got all black on they'll probably think you look like a some, look like you got a sheet on or like it doesn't really matter like if it was like oh a sky blue 
or a baby like a cotton candy pink or a, a burgundy or dark green or like a olive green like they're gonna like if someone's gonna look they're gonna look so why not just wear a proper hijab and <laughs> they just look at your proper hijab and just, you know keep it moving if you if this is all for people who want to cover properly if you really just want to cover and properly and you know the video isn't for you you don't really care to be educated and that's you know that's on you that's okay um it looked like i got makeup on i did have something on like before yesterday last night but i think i took it all off and i think about i don't really like eyeliner because it can like stay on your skin like you have to really wash it off but oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe um leave me a comment down below if you struggle with hijab um or, or like when did you start wearing hijab how you know or what helped you cover properly i'm looking at the birds anyway <laughs> yes and you know yes it's your bed when you wear your cover your hijab and stuff you shouldn't have a big bun in the back especially at the middle of your head because it's better to if you have a lot of hair just put the bun or your ponytail at the bottom of your head the back of your neck your nape and and put in a ponytail and if you have really thick hair you more you more on the three more on the four side four c four a b c type hair you have bigger voluminous hair you should just try to braid it put your bun braid it wrap it around and then make it at the back of your head or if you're able to just braid it down and it just falls down but if you're wearing a, a, a hijab or just like the scarf it probably wouldn't work because your hair if your hair however long your hair is it might f go past it which is why khimars are better because they're longer they go they can stop at the back of your butt or even further depending on the style you wear so yeah no camel humps try try to make your hair as least voluminous as possible so you don't have the hump and also you know we shouldn't wear like um some people may even think this is considered an adornment but it doesn't really seem an adornment it just seems like i don't know it seems so subtle it doesn't i don't think so but if it is may Allah forgive me but i know it's clear like diamonds like any diamonds it's clear and then um diamonds are clear adornments um pearls what else did he put on this stuff diamonds pearls and all types of different embroideries and that stuff can be considered an adornment so it's like it's just like you got a bunch of flowers that can be considered an adornment and you may want to stay away from it and if you do like to buy a bias like that or like niqabs with diamonds and stuff especially if it's just so out there try to wear it in places that are going to be you know women only or just your family you know, with your mahams around and like obviously it's covering covering in a hijab um a khimar or in a niqab um and a baya a jilbab is better than not doing it at all but you know we have to know like the criteria we have to know what the goal is not just like oh well i'm just gonna wear a, a, a baya and doesn't really matter if it's adorned or if it's highlighted pink with pearls all around it and diamonds at least i'm still like you know like no we should not settle for that like people want to level up in every aspect of their life but the hijab come on like that's that's ridiculous because we're going to be questioned by hijab or maybe the first question on you know on Yoma Kiyama is going to be about your salat but that doesn't mean we're not going to be questioned about our hijab like we're going to be questioned about everything so hijab is a, is a woman's modesty is very important and you know it's also a man but you know we don't really care about the men sisters we, you know you want for your sister what you want for yourself and I want for myself Jenna so if the hijab and your sacrifice of covering properly not looking like an IG baddie it's just like it's like the harder it is for you something is for you for the sake of Allah, like Allah is gonna reward us. Like we have to have faith that Allah is gonna reward us for our sacrifice and for doing all all forms of worship for His sake, you know, and for His reward. So that's where we really have to, you know, re 
revisit our intentions like no we don't do it for men we don't do it like because of men and like it's not simply to help men it helps it's to help yourself be obedient to your lord like that's first and foremost if we didn't have any wisdom on behind why we should cover at all and especially cover it properly it doesn't like a law don't need to give us a reason a scholar don't need to derive a reason it's just it's literally we hear and we obey a law said it and we're going to do it you see what i'm saying like you don't need to give us a reason or we don't need a reason but yeah there are different reasons and like you know wisdoms of it's wisdoms why we cover and you know the more you learn the more we all learn the better we can practice our religion in all aspects and I don't think people are ever going to stop talking about hijab because times are getting worse. Women are obviously, it's like, what are the hadith about?